All right, I'm going to ask you one more time. Who are you working for? He works for Galt Industries. Diana. Hi, Steve. Last seen, in fact, in the office of Mr. Stryker. The Stryker is behind all this? Why don't we hear what the man who faces conspiracy charges has to say? Oh, now, look. Look, Tara Landon just gave me the information to put into the computer. I just take orders from her. What does she want with Morton Danzig? I don't know. Is she trying to make Morton appear to be Thomas J. Craddock? All right, Morton Danzig is being held on the estate. That's all I know. I swear it. What are you getting at, Diana? Stryker told me that he's positive Thomas J. Craddock is just a name someone's using to buy up Galt Industries stock. So whoever's using the name is probably sabotaging the company to drive down the price of the shares? Yes, and now it appears very likely that Tara Landon is setting up Morton Danzig so he can claim to be Craddock. But Ira assured me that before this morning there was absolutely no connection between Danzig and Galt Industries. Why would anyone set up a complete stranger to take over the company? I don't know, Steve. But I get the feeling that all the answers we need are at the Galt Estate. I'm going out there. Now, Diana, wait for a backup. Give me a half an hour. If you don't hear from me, then call a backup. Diana, now wait a minute. It's frightening. He almost pulled it off. Galt, using Morton's body, almost took over his own business empire. Only this time, it's a vibrant young man instead of a dying 70-year-old. Yeah, but the trouble is, there's only one thing Galt can do, and that's try again. <laughs> I'm afraid we haven't heard the last of him. Who knows what he'll try next. Mm. This is the best I could do. That, that Tara, she had a lot of wigs upstairs. Well, how does it look? I don't know, Morton. I think it looks kind of cute. <laughs>